Okay, we're back with the PowerTech multi system, and I'm going to demonstrate the pressing movements that you can do on this for the upper body. Pressing movements are good for upper body, and there's probably three good reasons why. One is that when you're pressing either for the chest or shoulders, you're not only training that target muscle, but you're also developing uh, other muscles such as the uh, tricep in this exercise, and also hitting a little bit of upper chest. Another reason why they're good too, so that's reason number one. Reason number two is that uh, you can actually use, you can open up your rep range a lot more here. You can safely train in a lower rep range because of the fact is, so let me press this up, even if you're doing like um, uh, low rep training here, you've got a lot of weight on there, okay, you've got safety here because if you slip up, you're safe, okay. And number three reason here is that well, what I like about this machine is that a lot of uh, pressing machines that you see on the market today don't give you a du the, the, the actual like uh, feel of dumbbells. So I, I noticed that because I like to use dumbbell presses when I train shoulders for variety. But what I found with this machine is this this is actually even though it's a machine that's pressing like a bar, it actually gives you the benefit of feeling in control like you are with dumbbells. Okay, so that's why I really like this machine. Okay, little tips when you're shoulder pressing here. Okay, if you want to work more towards the back portion of the shoulder, have your head off the bench like I'm doing now. So not forward, but just off the bench. Bring it to the top, starting position. Now we go conventional style, press up. And as you see in conventional style, we take all momentum out of the movement. So it's just purely your shoulders pressing this weight up. Again, every third workout, just for variety and more stimulation of the muscle, you can do continuous tension, which is done like that. When we're doing conventional style on this, even when we're doing chest pressing, is try and keep your repetitions uh, about 10 to 12. Uh, when you're doing conventional style, you can use, you can open up your rep range to maybe 12 to 6 repetitions. Okay? You can do the power lifting on this, and that would be like this. Place your head back in, because you've got maximum weight here because we're going for only 5 repetitions. Shove the weight up, place the head forward, breathe in, take it down, pause, blow it up. And then just hold it there for as long as you need. Breathe in. Push it up, okay? Again, power, lifting it in powerlifting style doesn't really give you a lot of size to the muscle, but what it does do, it gives you strength. And it's good to do that now and again because when you're getting in a conventional style of lifting or continuous style of lifting, when those reps get really tough, that's when the power training pays off, okay? And I like to do power training probably every eight weeks, and I'll do it for about two weeks, just to get a bit of um, uh, offset. So like, like for example, if, if you're used to blowing like heavy weight up, you know, down, you can use some of that strength to take back into your regular training, okay? So that's the best way to do that. Um, <clears throat> now, Normally, with your rep range here, the, when I'm doing pressing movements, the most effective workouts to do on these is normally, at the beginning stage, you want to just do like three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. So you probably want to do just a light warm-up of 20 repetitions, and we just do that in continuous tension, okay? So we're warming up everything for about 20 repetitions. Then place the weight on you think you can get 10 to 12 repetitions more. Again, push it up to the top, hold it, okay, come in, conventional style, pause the bottom, press up, pause the bottom, press up, okay, take that down. After about four weeks of that type of training, you can crank your training intensity up by using other techniques, like I said, you could keep the weight, you could, every third workout, you could do after warming up, you could, instead of doing conventional style lifting, you could use a weight of 10 to 12 again, but in 
in continuous tension, okay? Or another effective way, and this is the what I like, especially when you're after size, okay? Not in the powerlifting or after power, but this will give you power and size, so you're getting the best of both worlds here. So what you do is you do your warm-up for 20, and you probably here, you probably do like five sets. <clears throat> and the reason we do that for is because we're going to be using maximum weight, so we want to warm up a little bit more. So we do our warm-up for 20, then we'll do our weight in conventional lifting for like three sets of 10 to 12, just like we normally would do. And then our last two sets, what we would do is we'd increase the weight to like um, probably whatever we're lifting, we'd probably put about 50% more weight on, and we'll do two sets of about six to eight repetitions. Okay? All right. So, for example, I've got 30 kilos on here now. Now, if I was, I'd warm up, okay, I'd probably warm up with two files on each side for 20 repetitions, then I put my working weight on, which I've got here 30, and I'd do three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions with that. Then I'd increase the weight by 50%. So, roughly, I'd put probably, well, you know, don't have to be exact 50%, but 50% of that's about seven and a half kilos each side, but I'd just go another 10 each side. Another 10 kilos each side, so now I've got a maximum of 55 kilograms on there. I think we'll and now you're trying to go for six to eight repetitions. This type of training you probably only do for about a month at, the, at best. Come in, press it up. Two more. Yeah, okay. So that's how we do it. 